today the subject is hyaluronic acid. Nowadays, between aesthetics, beauty industry, um, medical industry, uh, medical aesthetics, everything has hyaluronic acid. Cleanser, toner, day cream, night cream, serums, mask. Is it necessary? Well, stay tuned until the end and I will give you all the facts. Very quickly, my name is Maria from Vancouver, Canada. And uh, I want to, first of all, the first thing I want to do is to thank my subscribers that are there supporting me and uh, being there as a force behind this channel. Uh, for the people that do not know me, hopefully you will enjoy me and uh, my subjects and my tutorials and you decide to subscribe. Uh, I do communicate a lot through Instagram because it's a more of a private platform, especially if you have problems and you want to send a picture uh, so I can see what you have. My link is below. Just click on it and it will take you to my Instagram platform. So the subject today is hyaluronic acid. And uh, you will find it so in so many products, which is the best product to get it. Uh, if you get it into uh, creams and uh, um, different like toners, it's going to be not as concentrated. So it is better to get it in, in a serum. And afterwards, I'm going to show it to you how I do it. So in a serum, it is more concentrated, so you get more of a result. An area that you should not waste your money is in a cleanser because it doesn't stay on your skin long enough. So don't waste your money on a cleanser uh, or toner. Toner stays on the skin, but cleanser toner is not necessary. And you know the people that have followed me, I don't really believe in toners. The best toner for your skin is straight water and apple cider vinegar. The concentration will vary depending what type of skin the you have. interesting fact is that hyaluronic acid is found naturally in the skin. And the hyaluronic acid is what keeps the skin supple and young and uh, vibrant. As we get older, the hyaluronic starts to deplete and that is why the skin starts to age. So the first thing that I always say is that you must drink, here we go, lots of water. Because the, the skin is uh, the uh, last organ that receives the water. So everything else, like the brain, the heart, the lungs, are the first organs that will get the water. So you do need to, to keep the hyaluronic and the skin nice and healthy, you need to do this drink more water. The second thing that I'd like to introduce again, as I always do, is the NRF2 activation. It comes into a, as a moisturizer and also as a, a, uh, a tablet or a supplement. These two will keep the skin young. Uh, it is an activator that reduces the oxidative stress in the skin caused by free radical damage. So that is something, and I have a link below so you can uh, look at it a little bit more. So the skin is made up of, has hyaluronic acid. So the next best thing is to apply the hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is uh, one of the most powerful humectant and uh, it draws the moisture to itself, to the molecule. But the molecule is quite large, so it just sits onto the skin. When we apply the hyaluronic acid, as a matter if it's in a moisturizer or a serum, sits there and it draws the moisture. So if you live in a moist climate, like in Vancouver, you will uh, uh, have a very nice, uh, plumped, um, healthy uh, skin. However, if you use this product in the winter, uh, which the air is drier, or you live uh, in uh, areas here in BC like uh, Asoyas, uh, Ashcroft, uh, Kamloops. These are the little towns around uh, Vancouver. Uh, the, the, 
the climate is very dry so this is not a good serum or ingredient to use or if you don't know these little towns if you live uh, in uh, California South California like uh, Salt Springs or uh, Colorado um, Arizona Australia South Africa Morocco Spain anywhere that the, the air is very dry this product if it's not used properly will actually draw the moisture out of your skin making your skin more dehydrated so at the end of this tutorial I'm going to show you how is the best way to apply this product moisturizers come in three classifications one is a humectant and uh, humectant is an example is a collagen day cream because the collagen is an, a powerful uh, uh, humectant it draws the moisture so something for you to know and a tip if you get a collagen night cream it does not work as well as a collagen day cream because a collagen day cream stays on the surface another humectant which is quite good is glycerin so a, a product that has glycerin because glycerin again is a humectant so so it brings moisture to the skin uh, another type of uh, um, a moisturizer is uh, our, our emollients and emollients soften the skin. So if you have a really dry cracked skin, cracked skin you want to use uh, emollient. And another moisturizer are called e uh, occlusives which they seal um, the, the skin so it does not evaporate. So guess what? When you use a hyaluronic acid onto the skin and it draws the moisture to your skin you do want to apply afterwards an occlusive so it holds the moisture in place so I will show you in a minute how I do it who cannot really use or who can use um, hyaluronic acid I would say everybody can uh, some people will uh, need more than others so if you have a dry dehydrated skin and you do the steps properly which I'm going to show you now uh, hyaluronic acid will work really well if you have oily skin um, hyaluronic acid also works really well because if you have really oily skin we want to bring moisture to the skin uh, so the uh, sebaceous glands will not over produce oils so it will balance your skin uh, skins that are, are, are acneic there are other things that you can do so hyaluronic acid is not the best product for skin that has acne or uh, fungal acne uh, I have tutorials that you can look at what you can do if you have fungal acne or acneic skin so let's uh, go step by step what you need to do uh, first of all um, you need to have moisture around you uh, so even if uh, you live in Vancouver but it's winter I would advise you to get a humidifier in uh, your house or apartment or where you are working and uh, living uh, that is the the first thing that you need to do uh, number two is when would you use the hyaluronic acid how often uh, so first of all if, if you are an older person I would say once a day not twice a day it's too much you have other things to do okay use hyaluronic at night time if you're a younger person maybe two times a week is more than plenty so let's uh, go step by step what you need to do after you have washed your skin and a cleanser uh, be very careful the cleanser is pH balanced and uh, below I will have a uh, two or three different types of cleansers um, of course I have my favorite one which is uh, from true science but there's other ones that are quite good yeah. a cleanser will have surfactants and what surfactants does it uh, binds to the oil of the skin so even if you have dry skin you do have some oil so as you wash your skin and remove your makeup nicely don't leave that cleanser on your skin too long unless you have an oiler skin oilier skin you can leave it on a little bit longer so cleanse your skin properly number one number two if you want to do a scrub at this time you can but you don't have to do it every night scrubs usually uh, is done uh, maybe once or twice a week the most okay 
do not use any type of uh, uh, chemical peel when you do hyaluronic acid. You don't want to put too many acids. So you don't want to use HAs, BHAs when you do uh, the hyaluronic acid. Too many acids. Too, there's going to be some reaction. So once you clean your skin, you hop into the shower. Okay? Uh, you say, Mom Maria, I don't do a shower every night. Okay, if you don't, don't. But it's uh, better this way. So you hop in the shower and uh, you're getting moisture in, uh, in the air. So you come out, patch dry your skin, and this is the time that you will use the hyaluronic acid. Finally, let's get started. So your skin is nice and clean, you just came out of the shower, you just gently pat dry your skin, and now you take out your hyaluronic acid. I use uh, Eminence. I do have some other ones uh, below that, you, that they're good products. And uh, you take, uh, now on my skin right now, uh, it's clean. The only thing I have on is a little bit of gloss and a little bit of mascara. So you want to use just, just a few drops, not too much, just a few drops. And uh, you apply it onto the skin. So the hyaluronic, the, the, the molecule is a little bit larger, stays more on the surface of the skin. I'll, I like to do a little bit of tapping to allow it to absorb a little bit. Okay, very good. <laughs> tap, 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 tap. Oh, I do have a tutorial that shows how you can apply a night cream. Uh, it's quite detailed about tapping and the pressure points is that Pretissage de Jaquette has so many good, good points. Once you feel that the hyaluronic is absorbed, the next thing you want to use is an occlusive. And what the occlusive does, it holds the moisture. Now, remember that right now, you just came out of the shower, you have moisture uh, in your bathroom or you have a humidifier in your bedroom and it's drawing the moisture to itself. Uh, after just a little while, you leave it on, you don't take it off. Now, I, I like to use, uh, I use uh, the rosehip uh, oil, which is a natural lipid and a faz fatty acid, essential fatty acid. And uh, it is a very good occlusive. So just a couple of drops, one, two, three. Yep, that's it. And I apply it on top. This occlusive will make like a seal and this is the steps that you do the product is all absorbed and uh, it feels great now like as i mentioned before it takes commitment with everything that you do it is not only hyaluronic acid you uh, can do a radio frequency and i have a tutorial on that micro needling i have a tutorial on that and you kind of want to alternate all these amazing products and procedures as if you want to do uh, a benefit onto your skin also i always say you must exercise your muscles your facial muscles because the muscles if they are nice and tight it keeps your skin nice and firm i hope you enjoyed this tutorial uh, give me comments give me thumbs up and i will talk with you very very soon take care a wonderful bouquet with colors that i love sent by genevieve thank you genevieve